Well, you know, you mentioned a little earlier um, a book called a Window on Eternity. Um, that book was actually uh, written in 2014 by E.O. Wilson, um, and Peter joined him in creating the photos for it. And, and somewhat presciently, given the moment that we're in today, Ed wrote in the book about our quest for eternity and the idea that our immortality resides in those remnants of the natural world that we've not yet destroyed specifically in extraordinary places like Gorongosa. Um, and, and Ed reminds us in the book that we should first of all take constant pleasure from the surprise, the mystery, the awe, the wholeness, the relief, and the redemption that places like Gorongosa offer, which is really wonderful to see this evening. Um, he also highlights, as we've gotten a glimpse of today, how Gorongosa is a model for how we can best protect these sanctuaries of our transcendent heritage and provide the quality of human life everywhere. So it's been really exciting over the years and again here today to showcase Gorongosa as a model really for all we must do to achieve a half earth future. Um, the foundation, the E.O. Wilson Biodiversity Foundation and Half Earth Project are committed to promoting model field research that builds a more comprehensive database of the Earth's vast biodiversity and then uses it as a fundamental tool for the management of places for conservation. Um, so we were really proud to have Peter and Ricardo lead the way as our inaugural Half Earth Chair and Scholar. Now, our Half Earth Chairs and Scholars program brings Ed's vision for Half Earth to life by supporting research efforts to better understand the biodiversity of our world. Um, and our ambition is for chairs and scholars in each region of the world to provide leadership around the unique socioeconomic needs and conservation priorities of their region of the world, um, increasing the global footprint, the depth of academic rigor and the regional scientific insight um, needed to successfully reach the goal of Half Earth. So we're, we're just thrilled to have Peter's leadership on the Half Earth Project team um, and really excited about the way that his unique scientific understanding, research and teaching expertise are supporting uh, conservation management and next generation stewardship in Mozambique and really as a model for Africa and the rest of the world. Thank you.